So as I'm still healing from my Mo surgery on my nose, I was trying to get creative in how I could show you some of the items that I had been thrifting. Some of these I'd thrifted before I had my surgery, couldn't thrift for two weeks, but I was back out thrifting this week. So I wanted to share some of my finds with you, but I didn't want any of you have to see, look at my nose. So this is going to be an odd little way to show you these items. So I'm going to feel like a hand model, but most hand models have their nails done and their hands are beautiful. So you're just going to get to see my items. So right off, I'm starting with this primitive candlestick with that metal tin. Could not pass that up for $309. Love candlesticks. Love that metal on the top. So shelf sitters like this, especially that cross, always sell well for me. The cross ended up being $8, which was a little pricey, but I know I can get 16 out of it easily. They sell as soon as I put them in. And any kind of metal walls or shelf sitters like this, also after I paint them up, sell really well. Now these were for the Bible and Mission thrift store, a little church thrift store, and I had to giggle because I had done a glass tray and I talked about the doilies and cricketing or silhouetting one out and I was like, oh my gosh, look at this. Here's some doilies, so, so super cheap, 75 and 50, yes please. I can't wait to be able to find an item to use these as a stencil. So I guess I'm going to have to watch some videos because I see a lot of people on Julie's Facebook page using these for decor. So I'm like, okay, it was a dollar. It was at the Missions for Bible Thrift Store. It was a brand new item. Okay, what do y'all do with it? Do you just use it as a decor piece on a table or what do you do? And then when I saw this mirror at my local Goodwill for three oh nine, I'm like, oh yeah, I did one of these mirrors, and it was fun to do. Love painting up those beads. I guess it's a project piece that somebody does. So I am very excited to do this with a mirror th flip coming up. And it's funny, I've been looking for those little trays. I used to get them at the dollar store. They haven't had them lately. And this one is at that Bible for Mission for a dollar. So there you go. I paid the right cost for it. And you can see the Dollar Tree sticker on the back. Love to flip these. These little size, sizes sell very well for me. Between $7 and $10 is what I sell them for. And then this one was fun because I like that ceramic tile. And I know that I can do that texture paint and turn it into the farmhouse. Hopefully one of my IOD stamps will fit on it. And I definitely can't pass up pieces of wood, uh, pieces of cutting board. I love this. I will keep it as is a cutting board and just get it back down to its new self just by a lot of sanding and some oiling on it. But great price, $209. Yes, please. So I would probably still consider this a new purchase good, but it was a donated. It's that Hearth and Hands from Target. I have a larger one. I haven't put them in the booth to sell yet. I might now because now I have two of them. Just cute little decor baskets. Though usually I find the metal envelopes, I have never seen a wooden one. So for $209, I thought this was a great find because you could hang it on the wall or you could actually sit it against something also so just super excited to get this one flipped and then an, a riser that's already a riser for 509 all i need to do is give it some bling <laughs> love it it's actually even very sturdy doesn't even need tightened so these were just some random finds, some random pieces that I can make over, I can use for some decor piece. I thought this little piece of fence was perfect. I'm like, yeah, just paint that up, distress it, put a cute little wreath on it for $2.99. I don't know what they retail for, but I definitely did think that that was super cute. As If anybody knows what it retails for, I'd love to know. And then this was a looked like it was a tile that somebody actually would use as a tile to put on your black splash or some kind of decor but I just I love wood I can't pass it up I thought I know we will find a use for this sooner or later and then right now I'm having good luck painting stars up distressing stars so I'm going to try some wooden stars I'm not going to pass them up right now and this too just is one of those let's paint this up let's put a cute little wreath 209 very cost efficient to sell it like that. Now, though I think my booth, our booth has kind of transformed not only just farmhouse, but we've got some 
farmhouse cottage, we've got some bohemian, we have some mid-modern, just the things that you find in the thrift store you just can't pass up and I'm definitely still not going to ever pass up a milk bottle when I find one. Then I absolutely love this little bottle. I might even put a little bee transfer on that front because I think it definitely looks like a little honeycomb shape on the front of that. Just, I know I'm a little obsessed with bees right now, but for 309, I think this is an easy flip other than putting a little stents on it. There's not much to do. So I can't tell you if these are new or they're old. I know they're probably a cornbread muffin tin. I absolutely love the color. Usually when I see these are that very dark cast iron. So I was definitely drawn to this color. I love the numbers on the back. I love that the patina, they were well loved, well used. $6 for one might've seemed too much, but when you opened that package up, there was two. So $3 a piece. I see a lot of people collecting old books and they're collecting cookbooks. So when I found these super simple bookends that I could paint up and put a little stencil on the side for 309, I was not going to pass them up. I love the simplicity of them. And these are perfect just the way they are. Somebody must have got them as a gift. They didn't like them. I, you, they, you can tell they haven't even been used. I know $15.09 seemed a little bit pricey, but I know that I can get $28 at least for the set of these. I will sell them as a set. Nice, tight fit. I know you're like, well, you should do $30, but uh, sometimes when you get into that $30, that people just don't even give a second glass. So keeping it under that 30 mark, people are usually quick snags. Now, Chris was with me when I picked up this little glass, leaded glass house for $6.09. He was like, $6.09, pass that. I'm like, there's nothing to do with it but clean it up. And I'll put a $12 price tag on that. And I know somebody will be happy to have that. Can't you imagine a cute little succulent, a little fake succulent inside of this? I couldn't help myself. There is a butterfly and a dragonfly, and we're coming into the season. 309 was probably a little too much. I don't, I might get $2 a piece for it, but sometimes, you know, somebody's just happy to get a little, little something out of your booth, and so you just make it cost efficient just to bring them into your booth. So here's a true story. All of a sudden, wasn't selling rolling pins at all. And then over the weekend, we sold a ton of rolling pins. It's probably looking a little bit sparse. And I'm out of rolling pins in my hoard. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to show this thrift haul, show these beautiful rolling pins off. 309, I believe this one was also 309. Oh my gosh, look at that patina. I will leave that one alone. Actually, I think I'll leave all three of these alone. I just love the look of all three of these. These are definitely just that collector decor pieces. I guess somebody can use them if they want, but just love the story that these could tell. And then these were at the Bibles for Mission for a dollar piece. They're kind of like the wood bowls that I have painted black and distressed to show the wood through. So and these look like they were well loved and washed a few times. So definitely could need a much given new life, new paint job for these two. Well, I can't say that these wooden mashers sell really well at all for me, but if I paint up that handle, they will sell. So that's what I'll do. I'll just paint up the handle and give it a little something something. I'll have to decide on if I just want to waverly wax it or paint it in black. That seems to be the color that sells on them. So this was a set of creamers that I cannot pass up creamers, especially since it had a cow. Now this is interesting. It was a set for three oh or five oh nine. You had to buy all three. And I'm like, okay, we got this cow, and then we have a, I know this is a penguin, super cute. I'm not sure how that fits into farmhouse, but it doesn't matter. You never know what somebody's looking for in an antique mall. And then this one, I'm like, what is it? Is it a frog? Is it a turtle is it a hobbit i don't I, I really don't know what this one is this so if anybody has a guess please tell me so i don't usually do a lot of ceramic pieces but they were a sheep it was a mama and a baby and i did do another set of sheep it's already gone so yep for 209 
yes please I'm gonna do this set of sheep and paint this up even though I do think it's cute I still I'm funny about just reselling something when I know I can paint it and you see it's just a manufactured piece so I will figure out what to do with it so when I picked up the swan on my local Goodwill, somebody had turned in their whole duck collection, but the only thing that was a swan was this piece. I do think it was a little bit pricey at the 809 price tag, but wooden swans do not come off very often. And I will tell you, when I paint them black, they always sell. And I know I can get at least $22 out of this one painting it up black. So on these three little random animal pieces, this little birdie ended up being half price at the Salvation Army, Army so for 99 cents. They're not doing a lot of nine at my local Goodwill or Goodwills anymore, so 209 is just not cost efficient for these little pieces. So this one ended up being one of the last finds for nine. I will paint him up somehow, I'm not quite sure, but I know that this the birdie and this bunny I will definitely give it that texture paint look and paint them all one color. He's a little resin piece. So when it comes to metal pieces, wire pieces, I'm right over there checking it out. So for 309 I'm just going to give this a new paint job and put some simple greenery in it. Yep, just greenery, no lavender. So I don't know if you all think this is a funny find. This I thought I see all you guys doing books, doing stacked books, but we are a community in our community that, oh my gosh, if I start taking apart books in our antique mall and putting bling on them and decor, I don't know, I might, oh, I don't know how, people in our area really love books, so I am a little leery to take apart a book, so God wink moment, look at, here's these little sets of three wooden books, they were all for 309 so I can see painting them up and maybe I put in a transfer on them or some kind of stamp. So I ran across this very red cake stand. I really thought when I picked it up it was going to be plastic, but it is wooden, so super excited about that. Giggle at the $49.99 price tag, but I will definitely either paint this up or maybe that gray textured paint. I definitely don't want to distress this piece. I don't want to show that red through. This was a great find, a simple, very large, I'm going to put my hand next to it so you can see the size. Sorry, you have to look at my hands. Oh my gosh. Crafter's hands, hairdresser's hands, the old hands. But for $7.09, all you have to do is wash this up and change that price tag. So this too was one of those, oh, it's metal. I got to check it out. I'm like, oh, it's metal. $5.09. Okay, now, now, now. What is it? What is it? I'm like, oh, Oh, it's a book and oh my gosh, it is super heavy. It's beautiful. Hold on, I gotta set the camera down. I'm gonna show you how large it explain expands to. Oh my gosh, look at this piece. It is absolutely gorgeous. Other than freshening up that paint job, wow. And then, nope, I'm not going to pass up a patinaed watering can. It's so super cute. Love watering cans. We're in the season. Take that store tag off there for sure. But I probably won't do too much. I might change out the pansies. I don't think that does anything for this, even though I do like the age of it. I think I'll change it out to something else. So what do you guys think of these sweet, simple flower candlesticks? Oh, my gosh. These are still selling really well for me. So the 609 price tag, for especially for three, that would be two something a piece. So very cost efficient for the set of three. I can paint these up black, put that little white detailing on them, and they have still been selling. So this is just one of those pieces. I'm like, well, what is it? You know, it, it was aged. You could tell it was old. It kind of had that drop cloth linen texture that I love. It had some metal on it. It had wording on it. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's cool. It is an old watering bag that you would have carried around with you for 509 There's nothing to do for this. I'm actually not sure. I kind of like it. I like little odd things like this. I think it's just a neat find. I might resell it or we might keep it for ourselves. So one day when my son was getting his tires done, I was with him and there's a little thrift store next door. It is for their shelter house, our battered women's. So I stopped, I, we were, I'm like, hey, Alex, there's a thrift store. Let's go into it. So they had this cute little, oh my gosh, I, yep, I had to grab that. And then it had this other, those smaller crockery. 
bowl in there too for four dollars can't pass up a little crockery bowl i can put a stamp on that one but this one i just actually picked up this week <laughs> I don't even care that it's cracked. This one will stay in my own hoard. I love when I find the unique, unique shapes of Crocs like this for $8.09. I think that is a great price. And like I said, this is at that thrift store next door to where Alex was getting his tires done. So I'm like, $4. I can put just clean it up and put a stamp on it and sell it as is. So this I just couldn't pass up. I love the number two. It was $3 at the Target dollar spot. I'm going to tea stain, coffee stain diet, maybe put some little bit of greenery in it and call it good. Now, if this was a smaller size jar, I would have left it behind because it was clear. But being that it is the larger size, I love that patina of the wire on the on the handle for sure it didn't have the lid that was okay 309 like i said i just love the size of this jar i'm still having a lot of fun doing that texturing paint blinging up these canister sets so when i'm looking for a canister set i'm looking for something that i don't have to do the inside that the inside is in good shape the seals are in good shape i thought this was kind of a oops i didn't have the lid on very well um dog biscuits sugar and yeah i thought that i don't know but the tags can come off i can repaint these i don't have to do anything to the inside is what i'm looking for so for the set of three for 509 i thought it was a great set see what i mean sugar tea and dog biscuits okay that's but yep they have a very good seal on them this was just a little whiskey bottle it was a dollar fifty at the bible's permission thrift store it didn't have the cork but that's okay i can see putting texture paint on this and giving it a little stamp so I just couldn't pass up these corbels, the set of five for 509. You can definitely tell that these are vintage. I can definitely put a little bit of a stenciling on them and sell them as is without having to attach them to a shelf or anything. People still like these, even though they're not the fancy laid cor corbels that you can get out there, but they still with some stenciling on them, people like them. Of course, when I ran across this block wagon, I'm like, look, it has wooden wheels. Look at that patina of the well-loved. I played with these blocks. Grandpa probably made this set for his grandchild. Oh my gosh. Nope. Other than giving them a cleaning, I will do nothing with this. And as I am showing this, Chris was playing with it, making little houses out of it. So I'm like, oh, well, you know, we might have to keep this one around too long. You know, yeah, boys will be boys. Not too long ago did I do a whole bunch of birdhouses. Now the larger ones sold really well and I have to say I still have the smaller ones. So when it comes to birdhouses, I'm only going to be looking for the larger ones. I love the detail of this piece and just doing the simplicity of the black and white I think will tie it all together and it will make it sell. Now I always giggle when I find a piece that still has a new on tag. That Red Shed product is from the TSC store, which is one of our local farming stores here in our town, and they have some beautiful farmhouse decor. So for eight oh nine, it is a new piece, but I think painting this black and white will definitely just make that cow pop a little bit more. So would you look at the size of this lazy Susan? Oh my gosh! Other than cleaning it up and putting some stenciling on it, those are selling really well. Lazy Susans, some of that flower stenciling. Like I said, I'm just going to clean it up. Probably Waverly Wax, change that golden out just a little bit. Put some flower on there and it will be done. Now, if this was a regular size tray, I probably would have steered clear with it. But being that this is a beast of a tray, I'm like, yeah, okay, we're going to have to sand it. It's got a great price on it. So, it, like, look at my hand next to it. This is a big piece, but it definitely needs sanded. It's already chipping. So, it was used back in the day, but I am very excited for the size. See how the paint is coming off. So, we'll have to sand it. But I definitely love the size of this tray. Here towards the end, I have a few um, just new purchased goods. These were some 70% off trays from Joann's. So I think they ended up being $9 a piece, $29.99. They always just mark stuff so they can put it on sale. But I definitely I ordered some new knobs to put on the bottom of these to make them into a little bit more risers. 
And then these were the last two trays that they had at the Target dollar spot for five pop. $5 a piece. They have that bamboo kind of look, but they are definitely a raw, raw wood. So they definitely need to be painted, sealed, stained, something. I did add a couple more. I did order some other knobs from Amazon for these two to lift them up to make them into risers also. So do your guys' Goodwills get the Target returns, the new purchase goods? So these were two Lazy Susans from Target. $4.99. Love the color already. And like I said, there's something about putting that flower decal that I put on with my stencils that just make these things sell. So $4.99. Yes. Love it. I don't know why our, our stores, local stores get these new purchase returns from Target, but I am always happy to find them. And then this smaller mirror for $5.99 was the same thing as that Magnolia Farm line, brand new, returned, so they don't resell it. Absolutely love when I run across this. I will probably paint it up black. It's kind of got, it's not wooden, it's got that goldy, like gold gold, not like golden wood tone, but it's, so I definitely loved finding that. And then look at this. This is another one of those salvage returns. There's nothing wrong with this little macrame basket, $8.99 price tag, but I can at least get $24 out of this. I think somebody will love this to put their pillows in a throw in just for some decor. So the salvage just means that it had been returned and they don't resell it at the store. So I thank you all for watching the unique way of being a hand model showing my thrift haul. Hopefully my nose will heal better and I'll be able to show my face again. But I do appreciate you all watching and the thrift store makeovers will be coming out throughout this month. Thanks again for watching.